Oh my gosh, being your own team can suck most of the time. Though, I, like just thinking about my journey on YouTube, TikTok, social media in general, I'm very happy with the skills that I have. But you, uh, uh, Sana, guys, I need help. Someone holding that camera, or at least someone just checking you, baby. Anyway, I won't even make it a biggie, but welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Satems. Dearest darling, and I don't even know what this video will be about, but essentially I, th I feel like I am going to create a friend within this camera, like you darling, are my friend, and we're going to do a bit of updates, you know, like, what the heck has been happening? Dude, my, what is this called? IG account has been hacked. Yo, <laughs> for me, my IG account also being hacked just represents this year. It gives that 2022 has been doing that to me, like from the beginning of this year, like Jan, Feb, down to December. I'm, I mean, today's the 1st of December. It's the morning and I'm just reflecting on how everything has been. So I'm not going to be ranting about how everything is bad and how my life is falling apart. It's fallen apart already. So to those that have supported me on Instagram, just know that I am doing something about it and I'm just hoping for the best. Right now, I'm at, I'm like, it's my last resort, hoping for Instagram to say we 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 got those emails and we 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 see you we hear you so yes that's that on instagram to those that are like curious what's happening because this i feel like even this recording whatever i'm doing i don't know what it is it's like podcasty ah, but also speaking to you but at the same time i'm just hoping the audio version of it is going to be a vibe if you get what i'm saying because if i don't like the video i'm just not going to post the video i'm just going to do audio because i'm trying to establish friendship within you and understanding because my main topic actually of this video is being alone living alone doing life alone yes i might not be like alone no man is an island but like i'm recording this as we speak oh i didn't close my cupboard can you see it is it on the you can't see it okay that's lovely Oh, that's lovely. But anyway, I'm recording it on an on suite. Let me not look that side. <laughs> Let me not be distracted by the camera. I'm I'm recording it in an on suite, and which is basically in modern world a jail. Everything is here. Um, of, my kitchen is not here, of course. I it's it's in the it's the in the communal side. But you are and to give him Nazana. I don't like sharing, and beyond not like sharing, I think that's exactly the spirit I'm trying to turn around because it comes with the habit of then hiding yourself in an ensuite and then complaining about being alone because ha, it is not nice like i, I do enjoy my company a lot I, I grew up doing a lot of things alone um and hiding myself in like little corners but now as i'm growing up i'm very scared of that manifesting to fully being me like i think i'm ready to be part of a community be a part of a group of people like Maluin, hello, bone, like vibes, anyway. So I'm going to be obviously talking a whole lot of nonsense because I don't know. I didn't plan this. Literally, I was just like lights on camera and it's going to be action because why not? You know, Um. so I'm also hoping from for some guidance from your side. Like, would you like me to continue just doing random updates about me until you obviously guide me in terms of like the best topics? Like, I am going to talk about alone, being alone. And then another thing that I've, I've been thinking about just... How did I get here in terms of freelancing? I'm a freelancer, guys, and it is the most hectic thing one should even think about. Yes, of course, it pays you long term, apparently. I've seen people successfully doing it eventually, but I'm at a point where it's still like, like what is happening? You know what I'm saying? So, so that's that. And then what else did I, what, what else did I write? Oh, relationships. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> relationships i am going to see how that goes um it's been on and off in terms of just generally in my life you know I, i've been on and off about it i've had beautiful relationships i've never had like an extremely bad one like an extremely toxic like but i've had a lot that i've learned within my relationships with time um but for the longest time since my last one i did like i was just like i'm going on a hiatus you know, on the streets, I do not want to be seen, found, do not be attracted to me. There's nothing to see, you know, or nothing to enjoy or appreciate. So I was very much, no thank you, ni danki, ngosi. Um, 
But I'm also now like at a point where I'm just like, I'm open to what has come to the table because I have not been looking, but there are eyes that are watching you. Let me see what, how much time I have. Okay, that's lovely. So there are people with time, um, not with time, sorry. There are people that have been in a space of, you know, and I'm also just like, hmm, why not? But at the same time, I think I also like where I'm at about relationships because usually, you know, when you're just like, you, I need a vibe now. I want someone right now. Um, and anything that comes, it, you know, it goes. But now I'm not, I haven't been looking for anything. I'm just like, you, I don't know. Like, sorry. Oh, but again, when you have something on the radar, it's a vibe. And then what else do I write here? What a small circle. Oh, keeping your small circle small. And then networking in South Africa and employment. Ah! I hope I get through all of this because I'm having daydreams. Not daydreams. I'm having nightmares because it's the morning and then it's dark. I don't know how to speak English actually anymore. So I'm going to use these. My notepad literally has no, not like notes, note, notes. The half a page, as you can see. But I'm also hoping to make this very organic. Like, I really think I should be pro um, producing way more content, you know, for you, for the world, darling. Um, For me to make more of these mistakes and also for me to be more comfortable about just everything. Because to be honest, I overthink. Ooh, I overthink a lot. I overthink a lot. Uh, and right now you're getting me probably at my best. I've watched my channel. <laughs> oh, I did. Some of the things I've recorded, edited, and I was so proud of. I'm like, Viti Vatkan Metio. So, I'm coming here not overthinking. Literally, I'm thinking this, like, I'm sending a VN to my friend. Because when I'm sending a VN, I can go on and on and on. And I can go that side, that side, that side. But I'm very comfortable. I'm just like, babes, this is Sitem's darling. And another thing, I'm also, my camera, I've always been overthinking my whole camera. I ordeal, I would say. Like, it's not like a great, great camera, but I also feel like you can see me. It's a vibe and my lighting, it's, I mean, what's the time now? It's 2.26, it's almost half past two in the morning. I'm a black person. Usually the joke is, I can only see your teeth and you probably can see my entire face, you know? So it's me sitting down saying like, I'm grateful for what I have. When I started, I dreamed of a camera. Now I'm all of a sudden saying it's not a good enough camera. Like what's my vibe? I also got, what is this called? For your audio to be amazing, to sound gorgeous, darling. I got that long time ago. Long they don't say in Afrikaans. Obviously, it's total nonsense. But I've been overthinking how to use it. And that's my thing. I realized that when I didn't have all these gadgets, I was like, this is what I'm working towards. And my content will be better. Uh -uh. Truth is, it's not, it, that, that, that's like when you really learn and you have to be honest with yourself. Like The gear is not the problem here. You are the problem. <laughs> You're the problem. Like you need, just need to sit down and create one. Um. So yeah. Um. So just okay. On the topic of living alone. Me, me, Sitems. Don't again. I'm not gonna edit this. I'm literally, that's my goal. Not to edit this. To just throw it on you because I want to also feel that podcasty feely. It might not be super long, but if it works, we're definitely obviously gonna vibe with it, and we're gonna be more prepared about it. But. We're not going to be worried about perfection. Oh, my nose. So, firstly, in terms of how I feel, why I'm even recording this, like, now. I this one's terminated. You. Okay, it's 9.05. Yeah. So, how do I feel, and why am I recording this only now? Not only now. Now. First of all, I'm in a, a buzz of just, I need momentum. I want to see change. Not change, but I want to see movement. In my life but i'm like but uploading content obviously is not gonna bring about that one but what i told myself is that when i feel the urge to record even if i'm not gonna upload it at least record do it because the truth is it's not recording that i have a problem with it's the setup it's making sure that everything is alive and ready for me to hoy. and that's what i mean by teamwork it would be nice to just ask even if it was my brother like babes can you just help me with the setup one um, I know how to do the setup, but it's also, oh gosh, that's why I need a recording room so that I can give you more content, but that's not the excuse. So essentially like how I feel, I feel alone. Um, I feel isolated and I blame that on myself 
Um, do I feel healthy? I don't know. Also, I'm not making the best health decisions in life. Am I hungry? Somewhat. I don't cook. I'm a bachelor. I do it sometimes. I love food. I even have oh, this cute book. Sorry, what is it? it's this cute book. I didn't even know I was going to pull it. It's called um, Dot Cookery. Dot, obviously coming from my surname, Dot Juana. Cookery is everything that I'm attempting to cook one day. Not one day. Actually, everything that is here, actually, no, this is the truth. For a recipe to jump on this book, it must have been explored already. Or it must be at least like my favorite, um, my favorite meal. Like I have your starters, I have your mains, I have your soups, I have your desserts, and I have your African cuisine. Anyway, so I am hungry. It's my fault that I'm not eating. I do have recipes. I can cook. I've been brought up in a space of love when it comes to food. My parents, both of them, both moms, um, have a knack of when it comes to food in different interesting ways, though. So when it comes to African food, of course, my, my biological mom, yes, hunty, but when it comes to Mediterranean, Caucasian food, my mom was good. But thank goodness, Jesus was like, don't worry, my son, I shall give you another mother. I see your taste is a bit up there. <laughs> my mom will kill me if she watches this. But but yeah, my mom's amazing. Um, Jo, when it comes to cooking, yo, yeah, like from South African food and to international cuisine, darling. Uh, like she follows recipes and this book is inspired by her. She actually bought me the book. She has her own at home and it's filled to the desk with food days, obviously, because she cooks. But for me, I could have done better. I have so many beautiful cups. I have a wine glass even, but I'm also just like, it is what it is. We just woke up to this. Masamben. Well, but yes, that's hunger. And what else? Where am I? I'm in Johannesburg. I relocated here obviously three years ago. And it's been interesting. I have a lot of stories to talk, talk about when it comes to Johannesburg. And I could tell them excitingly. I could be amazing at it if you want me to. But I never know which kind of stories also you like and what you genuinely appreciate. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's also the morning at the, mo at the moment. I don't know if you want me to also be that girl. I have a lot of energies. Right now, I'm giving you my most calmest, my most realist, sitems, ustembele, like... The person that's just like, ugh, whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Because um, once I get outside, I make people laugh. I make them smile. I make them come to life. Like, I'm that kind of person. I love that. I love seeing people, like, getting out of a zone that where they were too comfortable. That is not the best. And why am I to say that? Because, I mean, I also go through the same. That's why it's always so nice to be around people that can uplift me. But... Sometimes you don't choose certain spaces that you find yourself in. I'm talking about internally, spiritually, kumbaya vibes, but it's always amazing to find yourself getting out of that and having things around you. That's why, again, it's always so amazing for men not to island themselves. Um, and for me, I watch that about people just generally, naturally. I'm always just like, snap out, darling. It is because sometimes when people snap out, weird enough, I also, funny enough, kind of can hold myself accountable when I get to those places and I don't have someone to uplift me. It, it uplifts me to think about how many people get uplifted with certain situations and, you know, and lightening certain situations and them being able to even go forth within their battles about the day, about their lives, or whatever challenges they have on a lighter manner and not seeing it as something that just brings them down, but something that's just, it's a challenge and I'm going to get over it because you've gone over many of them, kind of up, you know? I like being that person. So I'm feeling great, but I'm also still feeling lonely at the same time, not on a you know, humanity that I'm saying now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's December. Yeah, yes, yeah, South Africa. South Africa, it's a vibe. Like, it, I don't know if I'm over exaggerating, but no, I'm not. It's South Africa. We are a vibe, and it is December. The weather is gorgeous, and the tourists are attracted, and South Africans are alive. The music is just, you know what I'm saying? So I know that it, it the buzz but i'm not feeling the buzz and also there's something that i am looking forward to that i really hope that i get to vlog and share um 
but I'm not feeling that vibe either. I'm just like, it's such an important moment of my career. It's the beginning of something quintessential to not just the great VTC work that I've been doing on a freelance level, which I'm going to share the devastation, but also the beauty of it. But on a now front of camera like what i'm doing now it, it's amazing and it's great like for me if i can do this very well then i have something that is going to be documented and i can put on the table and say there is more because i think i'm ready to also negotiate that i think i've been waiting for father christmas to bring the presents on the table but truth is especially as a person that wraps them up that loves wrapping them up no one's going to teach you how to do them beautifully, darling. The more you do it, the more you find knacks around it until you get to the bows. Like when I wrap presents, yo! Even Father Christmas would shake. So essentially, yes, I'm ready to go on those tables and be like, I am the Thames and I have something for you. Um, Yeah, that's that. And then, you also know some, you're probably just like, I is Temele. You, we're done, we get it. Okay, I'm going to finish up. Um, I'm going to finish up. How much time do I have? I have 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to finish up. I'm going to wrap up. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, what have I been up to? Oh, okay, freelancing. Let me actually, let me not even shy holding this pen and ticking. Living alone, I've shared my experience and I've ranted around it. I think I can structure a topic in the future better, but I didn't. But it's fine. We keep moving. Freelancing. What? That's what I've been up to. Guys, obviously, we know. Sitem's dropped out of college. I'll put that video up for you to see. Because I am going to upload this on YouTube. But I'm also hoping to upload it as just a audio. Um, but I'm going to put it up for you um, as a link so that you can see it. Watch it. That was a time of my life. I'm so glad that I made a decision to even record that for myself to keep watching because I've watched it quite a few times and to reflect upon it. Um, so I dropped out and I went on this venture of just me finding my way and just exploring on the earth of life. Hence, I also again relocated from Cape Town to Johannesburg and it's been a vibe. Like I said, I will get into more of that. If you have any questions, actually, because it's been a ride and it's crazy, and but it's also fun. It's it's lovely to expand your ex life experience and just get out away from your comfort zone. Because oh, when I get go to Cape Town, I love it and I always miss Cape Town. But whenever I get there, like a week later, I'm like, oh, I know exactly why I left. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the tuna. Uh -uh, Cape Town is slow, 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 slow. But again, beautiful. And there's a lot other different things. I suppose also I don't have the budget yet to fully experience Cape Town at my, the way I would like to fully. So I get bored when I can't go out. So being at home is like, Joburg, it's different. When I'm here, I am kind of alone and I'm working and I hate being alone, but at the same time, it kind of helps me to be alone because it really makes me face um, what matters. What do I want to be doing? Because yes, I'm young, vibes but at the same time i don't want to be a poor 30 year old not that it's a bad thing like i just don't want to be you know i need i just can't be poor at 30. I'm, i don't have to be the president of this country but i just need the cash flow to be vibing you know i need to <laughs> My blood needs to smell like cash kind of energy. So I've been freelancing. I'm a social media manager. Love it here. Social media and branding manager, but I'm more social media because um, my tactics, my strengths, um, I'm very good when it comes to that conversation. So even for you, if you know anyone, help a, help a queen, darling. Let's expand. I have a job digital auditorium. That is my freelance. That is like my, you know, my business. Um, and I'll, obviously it, it, it will encompass in the future, even now, whenever I have something of nature, theater. And by theater, I mean dance. Just incorporating my dancing, my influencing, incorporating everything everything media that I do and that I have knowledge of, putting it under this spectrum and hopefully expanding it and working with people, how much time do I have, seven minutes, and working with people that will bring those kind of expertise to to bring it, like, oh, to, to build it and make it bigger. But I'm not going to talk too much about business like that. But on a freelancing level, of course, I've put myself under that seed because I don't have a college degree right now. It, it's you you have to come with a portfolio and a portfolio is a bitch because it needs to be good you need to show us that you do the damn work and 
it's great when you have one that's nice and that is great and good, which I do have, but also just the constant selling of yourself. Yo, that's an everyday work stomachsome. Constantly on. Kamalam does tamela do twelve steps, darling. But not just like that, obviously. It's not always just on a corporate level, but you you kept on your toes in expanding and trying to build your network. Um and it's really it, I can't say it's easy for a person of my character, personality, yes, that, but at the same time, on a professional level, like, I like, I like understanding what kind of network also that is around me, because it's one thing to have a yellow mensa um, around you, and you are crowded with people liking you, it's like, let me just even look at my TikTok, like, I have over 200,000 on TikTok, over 200,000 people that are amazing, um, but it's always such a moment for me when you do post a post that is not good enough for your people. At the 200, there's no petisanism. You'll have your two likes still. Your video will have its 200 views. But also, I also know as a social media um, manager, on an algorithm basis, that also matters. But that's not the chat right now. How are you doing? So I'm calling this session t-h-e-m it's them it's a home honestly for what can i say outcasts and perhaps the conversations will be around that i don't think this would be or was a fun episode but it's also an introductory one um i think all off the tense when i'm calm when i'm not so hi welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm talking about um because also those videos have not done well for me clearly tried them and also at the same time i think with time i will understand what i'm bringing to you and what you want and what works and what you find best and also for me i don't even know what kind of people i attract in general but that's the crazy part but I, weirdly enough i know how to help a lot of people attract the perfect tribe for themselves and for me i, I, I can write it down and use the same strategies to you know, suss it out for you or for a brand or a company for a client, I would say. That, for me, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And that's the other thing. I'm just like, where is my tribe that understands that I won't finish all my sentences? I don't want to finish all my sentences when I'm speaking. Um, and I feel like that's just a part of me. But on a formal basis, we can go for it. And if you want me to use jargon, we can... Oh, but I, I like being able to you know and then it's like <laughs> anyway thank you so much for just watching and I don't know how long you like watched or how many people are actually going to get to this point um, I'm hoping enough to inspire me to record another one maybe tomorrow morning it could be my morning my, my morning little you know tea date or water water date w water date. what's the time now it's 2 41 no i could actually have tea this time because i usually have tea when i wake up but i'm awake yeah i think it's time to end it Mwah. My full name is Tevile Dotwana. My nickname, my star name is Sitems, and I love it. You and I, we both are darlings. And yes, I'm going to look back at this and be like, what the heck was I doing? But I do think I should upload it. I think it's very weird. It's so wrong. It's not perfect. It's cringe. But I think it's going to sound beautiful. And you are going to encourage me, and you're going to give me notes. And we're going to make this a thing. T-H-E-M, them, it's in my name, Sitems, it's in my name, Sitem <laughs> Oh, I love being human. You get to be silly for free. Mwah. Darling. <laughs>